Today, Kevin is going to show us how to make uh, DIY candy cherries. Uh, this recipe is on the King Arthur Baking website. And the reason why we're doing this is because I found a recipe for some cookies that require candy cherries. And since it's after Christmas, you can't find them anywhere. We've looked at every store we've gone in for candy cherries, cannot find them. So we're gonna make our own for the first time. So we thought we would just film it in case you're looking for them during the year two and can't find them. Um, it does take some time to make. So just to let you know, it's not a quick thing. Um, you need 16 ounces of total. We end up getting, they don't have those either. So we got two 10 ounce jars, which is fine. Um, and what you wanna do is uh, maraschino cherries and you wanna strain those. I'm gonna go ahead and get them started. These have the stems on them too. So I have to pull the stems off as well. But I'll do that off camera. You don't have to watch that. But um, basically drain these and then um, you need three fourths of a cup of sugar and you're gonna keep a fourth of a cup of this juice. So let me get these drained and peel the, put the stems off of them and I'll be back. So I've got all the stems off the cherries. You're not gonna do anything with those just yet. I got my sugar and I ended up doing a third of a cup of the cherry juice because we did have 20 ounces of cherries instead of 16. So a third of a cup I think will work better. So what you wanna do is turn your saucepan on. Make sure you have a saucepan with a lid. It's important that you have a lid. But we're gonna have uh, your cherry juice and your sugar. And we're gonna basically heat this up for two to three minutes until the sugar is mostly dissolved. Um, and uh, it'll be more, probably more liquidy than, uh, than granular sugar. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see it's pretty liquidy. Most of the sugar is dissolved. So now what you wanna do is just dump your cherries in there. Dump them all in there. And give them a good stir. Bring it to a boil right now. Once it's come to a boil, you're going to reduce it to where it's simmering and cover it, and you're going to stir it every 10 minutes. But you're going to leave them for like 45 to 55 minutes. Um, you're basically cooking to a softball stage, a uh, softball stage, which is 235 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what you're that's what you're shooting for. So you're, you're getting a, a good thick uh, syrup. So. I'm going to let these get to a boil and we'll be back. Okay, my cherries are happily boiling away here. So I'm gonna turn my temperature down to where they're just barely bubbling. And I'm gonna cover them, but we're gonna stir them every 10 minutes for the next 45 minutes till they've thickened up. And I do have a candy thermometer to check the temperature uh, for that two, uh, was it 235? Yeah, 235. Okay, right, so I had my candy thermometer in here and checked them and they are dead on 235, which is a little higher than that. So I've turned my heat off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off the heat. You want these to cool off to room temperature and then we'll be back to show you the very last step. All right, so you can see the mixture is cooled off because it's uh, not moving much. <laughs> but you're supposed to get a, it says strain it. There's no way in heck you're gonna be able to take that strain it through any of that. So um, basically it says slotted spoon. And uh, you can use, it says use them right away, or you can store them in an airtight container for uh, up to, let me see how long, uh, up to six months in the refrigerator. Yeah, so an airtight container in the refrigerator. So I will probably sit here and, and uh, break these up a bit to where they're not all stuck together because it's a, uh, they're quite stuck together right now. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. They're ready for your recipe. So, uh, like I said, I needed these to make some cookies that I wanna make. The cookies that I'm going to be using these for are called Empire Cookies. So, if you watched this video and enjoyed it, then um, and you wanna see, hey, what are they gonna do with those cherries, then please watch the video that we're gonna do. We're gonna make some Empire Cookies. And uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna, like Kevin said, we're gonna break these apart. Put them in a Pyrex bowl for storage, and that'll be that'll be all for these. Uh, but so it was pretty easy to make these. Yeah, I think. it just takes time. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.